Hey there, I'm Noah Meyerowitz from Sproutman.com, and today I'm going to talk to you about two very popular slow horizontal masticating single auger juicers. That was a mouthful. I want to do a little comparison video. I want to show you the Tribest Slow Star, which is a very sleek and elegant and high-end single auger juicer. And the Samson juicer is right up there in the same class performance-wise uh, and has a different aesthetic appeal to it. Uh, this is the chrome edition, this is the white, the slow solo star, I'm sorry, does come in a chrome edition as well, but so you can tell the difference easily, we've got two different colors here for you today. So, the facts. The solo star is slower than the Samson juicer here. The Solar Star spins at 57 revolutions per minute. So that's actually slower than we chew. Um, that's really important because with a faster speed juicer, that means oxidation occurs. And oxidation is really bad. You lose nutrients, you lose flavor, and it also means your juice won't store as long in the refrigerator. So a slow speed juicer is what you want. And this is most definitely cold pressed too. Uh, you'll see when we turn it on later that the functionality is that it literally is squeezing the juice uh, out of the produce. That would be most definitely the definition of cold press. Uh, certainly not like the Wells press juicer, which is literally two metal plates pushing up against each other. But in this effect, the auger is pushing the food up against this stopper at the end, the juice is going through the screen, the pulp is coming out the end. So uh, the Samson juicer is also a slow speed juicer. 80 revolutions per minute, not too much faster, still plenty slow for your juice. Uh, and they both have comparable warranties, both 15 years, both made by very reputable companies. Uh, Samson juicers comes from Samson Brands, they're located in Danbury, Connecticut. The Tribest Solo Star comes from Tribest in Anaheim, California, both manufactured in Korea, South Korea, and uh, you know, they're uh, both fine machines. What we're going to do here is weigh out some produce, uh, weigh out the exact amount and feed that same amount through each juicer, then we'll weigh out the pulp that comes out of each juicer and we'll weigh out the juice and see how they compare in juice extraction, because among other things, the most important factor is going to be how much juice do you actually get from your produce uh, and how many of those precious nutrients do you extract too. Because as you know, one of the best things about juicing is that super concentration of nutrients. So you want to make sure you get as many nutrients as possible out of your food and that they come out as unharmed as possible as well. Let's do some serious mathematics here. We've got a Hario scale here. We're going to tear it. We're at zero grams now. So we're going to take a leafy green like kale that we have here. And uh, <clears throat> let's see, how much do we want? That's 75 grams. So we're going to feed 75 grams of kale through each juicer, and we're going to see which one yields more juice. Uh, another important factor in these juicers is the sound, right? Not Certainly not as crucial, but if you're using them in your home or your apartment, you want to know, can you do this while someone is sleeping in the next room? Or can you do this without disturbing uh, anyone else that you're in the room with? Of course, if they don't care, then it doesn't matter, but I'm going to do a sound test anyway. So not nearly the most professional sound test that can be done, but we're going to use a decibel app on my iPhone here. Uh, and first we're going to do the solo star. Okay, according to the decibel app, we peaked at 75 there. We had an average of 70 uh, and peaked at 75, and I guess those peaks occurred uh, as the auger was rotating, it was bumping the screen very slightly, and that's what was peaking it there. Let's try the Samson now. Okay, we peaked at 88 on the Samson. So 88 versus 75, um, you know, it's a, it's a subtle difference, but it also makes a difference. Uh, and a couple other facts that I do want to share with you here, um, both very simil similar uh, as far as how much counter space they use up. Um, Samson is about two inches shorter in one respect, but it's also ever so slightly taller. Um, both have very um, versatile functionality. 
and uh, yeah, let's get down to the juicing part. So we're going to start with the solo star here. We're going to feed our 75.5 grams of kale through the machine uh, and see what we get. So because of the single auger, we can help feed it through, but at a certain point, the juicer will just start to pull the produce for us. Not very much pushing is actually needed here. Nice noises there happen <laughs> as it's, uh, you know, it's squeezing the juice out of this dry kale. Let's make sure that we actually get the juice in the container or else it wouldn't be a very accurate test. One important test of a juicer is, uh, let's get that last piece through, how dry is the pulp that's coming out of the juicer? Um, the end is always a little wetter because it hasn't built up the wall of pulp that it actually pushes again, so I am getting a little bit on my hand there. However, the pulp that's in the center, very dry. Um, so that's good. I'm going to let it drip there a little bit, and uh, now I have kale on my hand, so that's good. Um, I'll just rub it in. It's healthy. <laughs> um, and then, you know what we'll do here is uh, finish it off with a couple stalks of celery, see if we can get a pretty comparable amount of weight that we put in each juicer. So let's see. We've got 60.3 with two. We've got 128 and a half. Okay. So, should make sure I don't forget these. 75 and a half and 128 and a half. Very important. Scientific method. So, juicing process is concluded here. And being a human, I realize that I don't remember things so well. Or at least being a human that doesn't remember things very well. So, I've got a paper and I've got a pen. And I wrote down the numbers so I don't forget them. So, we're super accurate. Uh, and now, let's see how much juice we got out here. So, one juicing trick. Put your pulp container underneath the juice spout that way nothing drips okay in grams we have 146 grams of kale and celery juice out of the solo star juicer so um, make a note of that and now it's time to feed that into the samson so we are looking for 75 and a half grams of kale so we got our 75.5 grams of kale here and uh, let's feed it through the Samson now. Similar to the Solo Star here, very little pushing is needed. Now this juicer is slightly higher RPM and as you see it goes a little bit faster. Pulp test. Also pretty dry. A little bit on my hands again. But to be expected. Okay, 128 and a half grams of celery is the number we need now. Okay, 128 and a half grams of celery there. So I'm going to start with the tiny pieces so we know they get in. Now, some of you may point out that I was actually acting as a juicer there. It's true, but I was chewing a little faster than this thing's chewing, so. Now, let's see what the Samson container weighs. Huh, 135 grams. So the Solo Star had 136 for those, 146, I'm sorry, 11 more grams for those of you who were keeping track, which is probably most of you since we're doing a comparison here. Here's what I think made the difference. The Solo Star, um, it has a longer auger. And that means a couple of things. The first is that means there's more distance for the food to travel uh, as it builds up pressure and it extracts the juice. Um, it uh, basically means more chewing surface, right? Because the auger is the tooth or the teeth of the juicer. Um, it also, because of the auger design, 
produces more torque effectively. Uh, I believe they say it produces just over 5.6 horsepower effectively, uh, whereas the Samson is one and a half horsepower, right? Effective torque. Um, that has to do with the auger design here. And um, slightly slower RPM means slightly better extraction. Um, now, if this matters to you also, this all the Solo Star uses less energy, 135 watts of power, whereas the Samson draws 160 watts of power. Um, subtle difference, but you know, if you're living off the grid or if you're traveling or running off a generator, anything like that, the wattage does matter. So what I will say though is the Samson juicer is a seriously versatile machine that is great for all your everyday juicing needs. Um, the front design here actually on the Samson I think is superior to the Solar Star. It has three different settings for this. Um, the threads that hold the um, juice knob on here at the end, the pressure knob, uh, they're more substantial and they're stronger. The Solo Star doesn't have any settings, but you can loosen it yourself. But the threads are much thinner. And the problem with thinner threads is that when you have something like wheatgrass, which builds up a ton of pressure against that, um, this can actually snap off faster than the Samson's will snap off. Um, and I know that because I've done it. Um, juicing wheatgrass almost daily in the Samson has held up better than juicing wheatgrass in the Solar Star. The Solar Star produces very slightly more juice, but this holds up more. Now, um, they are both fine machines for your kitchen. Um, I, strandly, <laughs> I strongly recommend both of them. I stand behind them. No, I, I sit behind them, <laughs> but I stand behind both of them too. Uh, and I stand behind the companies that produce them. Tribest and Samson Brands are both reputable. They're both family owned and they both stand behind their products as well. But we do know now that the Solar Star produces slightly more juice. And um, well, that's that. I guess that's the purpose of this video. I forgot to mention something very important to you, and that is the price. There's a $70 price difference between the base level unit of both the Samson and the Solo Star Juicer, the Samson being the lower priced unit. $70 savings, loss of 11 grams of juice in our test. You have to decide what your budget is and what it's really worth. So with that in mind, um, Thank you very much for watching this video. If you're interested in purchasing either of these machines, uh, we would love to support you at SproutMan.com. We will match prices as best that we can if you find them any lower at any other internet discounter. Uh, and we will support you along your journey of juicing, of health, and uh, with more videos like this, with more articles and newsletters. So visit SproutMan.com and visit our juicer section to find either of these fine products bundled with all kinds of special uh, incentives for you. If you'd like to hear from us again, hit that subscribe button below, hit that like button if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next video.